Next summer, the 2012 Summer Olympic Games will be underway in London, bringing together athletes from around the world. Today, there was a different type of Olympics right here in Maine. New Center's Chris Marine is here now to explain. Chris? Hi, Pat. Different strokes for different folks. People from Maine all the way to Mississippi are in Hebron this weekend for the 2011 Redneck Olympics. And these aren't your grandfather's summer games. Three words describe this weekend's summer games. Beer, mud, and... Hundreds of people came out for the summer fun known as the Redneck Olympics. Why did we come here? For yummy! For yummy! <laughs> What's that mean? That's his name! Oh. <laughs> Nicole is from Buckfield, Maine, and besides coming for yummy, they came for tire burning. Rosa! Rosa tires! Not as much tire burning as tire popping. That was a quite a pop there. That, that blew that burned a tire right off it. Besides tire popping, there was also the mud runs where drivers go as fast as they can to get through about a couple hundred feet of muck. Driver Dennis Damon says this was the main reason why he came. Just good people, good times, and abuse on vehicles. That's about it. For others, just watching the event was good enough. Watch some trucks go through the mud. It's the best part about the Redneck Olympics. Now, if truck driving isn't your fancy, Maybe the tire beer trot is your forte. Um, you, have to, you have to run to the end of the tires, through the tires. Um, if you still, if they okay you at the end, you have to drink one full cup. And then if you come back through to this end and you still have a cup, you have to drink it. So, and then whoever does it wins. It should be interesting. It'll be fun. With nonstop action, people at these Redneck Olympics agree. London's got nothing on them. Uh, I mean, I think we're way above them. They're, I mean, they're right here. I mean, Redneck Olympics is way up here. So whether you're here for the... I'm popping tires and everything. Because we like to eat pig. <laughs> Don't expect to see the Olympic rings at these summer games. Pat, now I can see you maybe in one of those mud runner trucks next year. What do you think? Well, I've been stuck in the mud a time or two, uh, you know, so I do have experience in that. Usually not on purpose, though. There you go. And I should also say there's also the toilet seat horseshoes and the bobbing for pig's feet. All right. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Bruce, we can only hope that NBC will bid on it and cover it next Let year. Let's just hope. <laughs> That's New Center. We'll see you at 11.